Hi and welcome. My name is Katrina and this is our Vampire the Masquerade stream season three titled The Three Kingdoms. And before we start this evening's episode, as per usual, I would like my dear players to introduce themselves as well as their characters. Hi, I'm Marianne. I play Siobhan Price, um, 10th generation and Toyador Primogen. Hi, I'm Talia. I'm playing Christopher Marsless, a 10th generation of true and a rather irksome prince at this moment. With, a, with, a, with an axe to grind, you might say. And I'm Daniel. I play the Moth King, the Prince of Daggers, the Autumn Knights, the uh, Wearer of Jonathan. Jonathan's. Well, the only one at a time. Only one right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the one I wear is to Jonathan. It, of course it is. It, it's like when that one is dead or discarded, it's no longer a Jonathan. That is very true. <laughs> then you just get another one and it's... Yes, exactly. It's another Jonathan. Yes. Well, the nights in Boston, or days for that matter, are, are, are never a tedious or boring uh, affair. We are playing the world of darkness after all, and uh, we're not going to sit around twiddle our thumbs and drinking tea. I that, wish I could. That is a game for someone else's vices. Uh, but for us, uh, I kind of like to make my players run around batshit scared and worried for the end of days. As it should be. We, we love left... torture. Yes. Uh, we might have some combat. I'm guessing we are. But before we get into uh, the Moth King's shenanigans, I am sure my dear undeads uh, want to dive into their scenes a little bit before oh. that. Are we rouse checking or did we do that last time? Mm, no, you, know, you last have time. done that. You're good. Uh, you can still, rouse. It's still, it's, it's still a never-ending night of problems. <laughs> it's, it's just problems. Every night, every night is problems because I'm here for problems. And I thought like being a vampire like, gave you like all the time in the world so you didn't have to chase every night. But... Uh. Mm. Well, I don't know. Well, then again, I'm gonna uh, give this scene to our vampire prince, as he is in transit. And answering a phone call, I understood. Uh, which of the phones? Th that's your main phone, not not the the phone, but your phone. Yeah, I'll answer that first. You hear actually the voice of Mister Man. Ah, Mr. Man, good evening. And what may I do for you this fine night? My dear Prince, I am sure you by now know that there are some movements within the city. Yes. Yes. I'm uh, about to issue a call in for a meeting with different primogens and then for the rest of their clans. But as a matter of honest, we have had... Guests arriving. Yes, uh, I'm not so concerned about the guests at the moment. I'm more concerned about Miss Ah, Ram. the other matter. Yes, I am currently on my way to find the sheriff to have a little chat with him. Uh, the reason, um, the reason, dear prince. Hmm? I think perhaps the queen is involved. Hmm. I managed to snag a correspondence. Interesting. A tidbit Interesting. only. A detail. I would prefer not to do this on the phone. Where shall I meet you presently? Whatever you so acquire. Uh, or what is convenient for you. I can move pretty swift. Because he, if I was talking to Anton Amber Rivera, which place, Ventru territory, would be closest to the Malkav? Because you see, uh, I, I forgot to send it to uh, Anton and Amber, the Malkav territory is uh, it's smack dab close to the to the to the Ventru territory, on the okay. opposite side of the Bruja. Ah. Let's meet at the top. More in in, ta in more inwards to the finer districts and the city. Not dock area, more nicer areas. Yeah. No, let's meet at the tower then. Hmm? Yeah, let's meet at the tower then. 
Of course. The glass tower. See you there as soon as we both can get there. I'll be there in a moment. Thank you. He hangs up. Did he auto-phone call as well? It called, but it stopped. And do I recognize the number? No. Star 69? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can do that. Uh, yeah, you get I'm a registered. Burner. Yeah, you get a burner phone yeah. number. Like a number. I shall call it back after the meeting with Mr. Mann. Good indeed. So hurriedly, hurriedly to the glass tower we go. Well, yes. Uh, a few moments later, uh, JJ walks you in and says, "Is everything all right, Malish?" No, no. I say things are pretty much far from all right. I'd say they're pretty much full bar. Have you gotten any word of Miss Bella's latest antics? All the surveillance we have, and your tech team is saying that she has been leaking this type of information on and off, but not to this degree until now. But they are pre-recorded. It is not live. So she might not even still be alive. Interesting. Thank you for that. That's an interesting bit of information. That. Well, because I'm looking for her as we should and has yet not been able to locate her. Good. I'm having a meeting with Mr. Mann now. I'll talk to you again afterwards, see what he has learned. I'm sure with the surveillance in the city now, if we put some resources to it, perhaps we can determine her last movement and then trace her whereabouts. Yes, do that. Talk to Harold. He'll... Do his little tech wizardry. Find the last sighting of her and try to retrace her step. And get a clear picture of where she was. We should have enough. God knows we should have enough video surveillance. Storage for it costs a fortune. Because we do not need this right now, Malik. No, I... I smell something else behind this. Uh, last time we had guests. I do I need not to remind you, Leash? No, but I I do not think the two elements are connected any further than someone exploiting the situation. I just and if have so once. this time heads will roll. You see a slight smile. Yes, it's important to show strength. And you know she was a little bit vexed for you that Heads didn't roll last time when you asked for patience. Mm. Yes, yes. But this time, on the other hand, Chris has some more <sighs> aces up his sleeves. And he's seriously debating internally if it's not soon time for the Nosferatus to get a gentle prod of selecting a new primogen. Oh my. Mere moments later. The very anonymous, very tall physique of Mr. Matt. He looks like a hospital warden. He wears like a beige shirt, a black coat. He's not using his true form. He looks just fatigued. He's always look tired. He's got a very, like... Almost like Donald Trump comb over. It's a bad job at it. And he's, even in this anonymous looking visage, he's unpleasant to look at. You find yourself not wanting to look at him for too long. He has an uncomfortable presence. Ah, oh, good evening, Mr. Mann. Excellent of you coming to the show. Come, come, let's step into my office, private office, and have a chat. And when he moves, it's like he takes very small steps, almost like he glides beside you. If you've seen like Turkish dancers, I think they're the ones that spin and, and move. Yeah. Like this, they you can't see the feet. This is how he walks. It's a gift, <laughs> but it's weird. <laughs> but then nice. again, that's not for you. Yeah. 
and we enter into my private office, not the big yeah. meeting hall, yeah. but the off private office. Yeah. Yeah. May I get you anything before we start, Mr. Man? Uh, no, my dear prince. I thought it was important to give you this information as soon as well, you were available. Excellent, excellent. I do appreciate it. Things do indeed seem to be something more than they first appear. I managed to get this. You see, almost like a transcript, or almost like a text. Maybe email, maybe text. Hmm. And it says, take a look at it. Everything is going as we discussed. Another piece of the puzzle has been placed. Hmm. And that is from uh, the Queen to Brown. Hmm. So she's at it again, is she? Perhaps it's time to force her hand. Excellent, Mr. Man. I understand that Miss Bella is nowhere to be found, and her antics on this video site, this vlog, appear to be pre recorded. As far as I can tell, my liege, they are pre recorded. I do not think she's left the city. None of my little friends would have seen her leave. Then it remains to be seen. Is she in hiding, sequestered somewhere safe, or somewhere being held against her will in a plot manufactured for all? Uh, I'm too young to the city to know too much about the relationship within the Torador. But as far as I understood, the Miss Brown is not the closest to the primitive. No, no, she is not. There's been fairly a, what a harmonious existence in there, but mostly because Bella appears to be, what should we say, keeping to herself and not getting involved on the surface at the very least. May I give you a, an advice, my liege? Of course. As a humble servant to the throne. De Winter would be more than capable of finding Miss Brown, as long as she had a little piece of her. That can be arranged, and with her antics no, the sheriff has more than ample reasons to search her residence, her domain, and go through whatever we might find. Do I know if, uh, of, if Bella has any ghouls in the city? One. A double gang. Do we know also missing. Is? Also missing, okay, okay, okay. Or unaccounted for. I do not want to use the word missing. It sounds perhaps different than it is. Unaccounted for, my liege. He will more like it. Uh, but yes, that's actually plan. I'll call Mr. Vintas and arrange for that. I'll send her out with the sheriff to collect whatever she needs to do and put her on the case. Meanwhile, we should keep a very, very close eye on Cop Hill and the comings and goings there. Also, there's another residence, if you could spare some watchful eye for it to see who comes and goes and see who... Naturally, I will implore my more mundane matters in this, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that you might think of areas where people can slip in and out, which I cannot. And I give him the address for where Elizabeth mm. and the Reverend is staying. There are newcomers back to the, to the city. One is my errant child, the other is a Lazombra of some notes. They have come to claim residence. Please make sure to inform me if, well, either Bella, a ghoul, or anyone connected within a circle of the Queen should pop up there in any sort of form. Of course. As your humble servant and servant of the Camarilla, of course. Thank you very much. He bows and he glides out, just as airily as he glided into the room. 
so glad he said Nosferatu and not something worse. <laughs> something worse? Yeah, probably. Sneesh. <laughs> okay. He's got a plan more to-do list, more people to see. He needs to get a hold of Mr. Vences. On that note, though, the camera's going to pan out to Shiv in the car. Eve. Phone, please. Of course. Phone. She gives it. I'll pick it up and I'll um, call Sakura. My mom is laying there, you hear Primogen. I don't know what you've heard, but I need you to find or locate Bella immediately. If you please. I'll do my best. She politely declined a meeting that I still need to have, and I would love to have you by my side during it. Of course. But she declined. Yes. You see why I need you to find her for me. I think we need to pay her a little visit. So if you, after you locate her, let me know and I will be there as soon as possible. I just got some other business to attend to. Of course. I'll do my best. And I don't know, did you have any luck with Callisto? As I said, I'm now pretty sure where she's been kept. Really? Hmm. She has been moved around for quite a bit, but I think now I've narrowed it down to two locations she could possibly be in at the moment. That is good news. Yes, good news. Thank you. Of course. And I... I'm sorry that I'm sending you like round city like a yo-yo. I just... I am I your hope... enforcer. This is yes, a part of the Yes, but job. still... I know, but still, I know there is things on your own agenda that probably needs attending to as well, and I am not. I am sure. Let's just say I've not forgotten, is all. I would never believe and think you would have. And my gut feeling is telling me all these changes and events will lead me where I want to go. I hope so. Me too. I do wish the best for you, for all. Let me cast my net and see if a little string pings. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll hang up. <laughs> I'll lean over to Eve. D there is, mistress, you seem so distressed. Why do you do this, Eve? She looks startled and nervous. I'll take her by the throat and I kind of lean into her. So come, and I guess if we're in a car, I, yeah. Okay. How I, I don't know. Is it a big car, or a small car? Is she next that's to me? That's a nice, uh, not, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. But you yeah. just lean over. Yeah. Like, that's no, very I'll, forceful. I'll, I'll, yes, it is. Do you ever do things for your own sake, Eve? But, but do you only follow blindly like a sheep? You see, she's like, I could fail this test. But I, I, I love you and serving you is my greatest pleasure. I don't care about that, Eve. I don't care about that. You should not love me. You should not. I am nothing but a fucking monster and you know this. So why, Eve? Why? <laughs> she looked literally terrified. Yep. M Mistress Dearest, I should you. Something terrible happened. Did they do something to, to make you feel so distressed? Please, let me send for Alexander. I'll, I'll release her and I'll kind of just lean back into my seat. I'm sorry. No, oh, you do not have to apologize. I, I'm sure... It's I did something unpleasant. Not... And she's like, what did I do? But you are only here 
because of the blood, right? You don't really love me. You don't really care for me. I do love you. It's I... okay. So you, you see pure terror and confusion. And I'm looking now in the mirror, because if Adnan was driving the car. Mm-hmm. He looks, but then he looks down. Fucking sheeps. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I want a composure out of that one. Because you're basting out. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little out of my... Out of everything, I think, right now. Coming from that night. Having all these... Let me use... Uh, I could put you Don't oh. murder your ghouls! I'll murder your ghouls. Like, no, I'm not going to murder. M- well, I hope I'm not going to murder my ghouls. Uh, uh. Okay, two composure. You get acutely aware how distressed Eve is. And Adnan, you can smell uh, the quickening of his blood as well. I look out the window. And I'll call Nathaniel. He answers, mistress. Where are you on the matter of Trish? Trish, 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 Trish sorry. Trish, 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 Trish Cassidy. The, the painter. Mm. Uh, I know where she is uh, staying. Can you take her out for coffee or something, or bring her to my to my apartment? I need to I see can. both of you there. Of course. Soon, rather than later. As you wish, mistress. Do not entrap her. She needs to feel safe. Of course. But still, make it clear to her that I. I'm the one that wants to see her. I'll be as honest and clear with no, well, as less subterfuge as possible. Well, you can turn on that charm, can't you, Nathaniel? Yes, I can, mistress. Thank you. Click. (laughs) Damn! I'm sorry, I'm just a little... Shivers a little... Pissed? Oh. Yeah. Stressed, I think. Well, on that note, the camera is going to pan out through the city. Directly in to a very heated... Exchange! <laughs> 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 I had to. No, no, no. You need to keep it on now. Okay, very well. Of course I do. Whenever I'm in battle, this is how I sit. That's the, and Rudo also to pick a fight with Mothman. I mm. love it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, to those who is going to die, I salute you. <clears throat> yeah, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Looking silly, okay? All right. Um, right. I'm going to paint the scene for you. As as we left. I love you, Daniel. <laughs> I, I'm I'm here for all the Daniel. Daniel is here and he's here to play. Literally, look at him. And just Point because out because out of of uh, command work for ship doesn't mean it works for Marianne to Daniel. Yeah. So <laughs> Well that's two out of three with hat wear this uh, <laughs> Exactly. Yes. Marianne, perhaps yes. it's time to break out that tiara. <laughs> I'm gonna find like a big freaking summer hat, like ridiculously huge. No, no you need devil's it. horns because that's the most, that's more appropriate for you, and a pit, and a pitchfork, <laughs> and a goat's foot. <laughs> oh shit's got silly. This well, then the again, the, yeah, these are fate fighting. Um, you crush the door, yeah. vulgarly and beautifully, and full on power. Well, great. Well, great. Uh, well, then there were there was uh, there was a, a guy there that you quickly uh, he turns into a full on. Troll. Big, nasty troll. Darkish black blue in color. And he means fucking business. 
your team glides also in, jumps into action, thinking, huh, it's just a troll. Yeah, he's big. Yeah, yeah, but, but plenty of us. But then do a perception awareness. Oof. A uh, oof is right. Oof. <laughs> so go oof. Uh, let's hope I'm more aware now than I was earlier. Ooh, that's good. That's uh, two tens. Uh, four successes. Almost like you can see like the camera that shoots beside the very large, very ugly fucking looking troll's shoulder. And there you see them coming out of the shadow up uh, into a room, like a, as I've seen on the, the battle map I've sent. Yeah. Which will also be posted on the Insta if people want to look at it. It'll probably be posted here as well. You see what appears to be one more troll, two goblins, and two something you're not really sure what it is. The troll is also male. The goblins, one female, one male. And the other two, more animalistic looking, difficult to say. Bigger than the mad one, but in that category. Okay, now that messes a lot with my plan. <laughs> <laughs> You're walking into someone's keep. <laughs> yeah, I They're know. not just gonna let you walk in. <laughs> But I was just going, I was just dropping by. So now I'm going to put mine out. We got that. Force and dominance. You are <laughs> pleased to do whatever, but you have now shown force, so they will do something. The battle, or whatever's going to happen next, is whoever rolls the highest on their action is the first one to go. Don't forget, you also have the two knights of Eva and the trickster king at your yeah. side. And the mad one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can a mad one really do anything in combat? Be sassy. Okay, cool. <laughs> Distraction. Yeah, hope, let's hope he rolls high for sass. <laughs> sass is a high roll. <laughs> well, was, I assume there's going to be a lot of rolling for your side, because I only have... Uh, yeah, I roll... Mm. For mine, I only roll one die. Okay. Because I, I dumb it down for them. Uh... Mm -hmm. So I have one, two, three. Yeah. Four. Uh, I, have, also I have did, tons of people. I have so many people. I know. I also did say uh, don't kill him because uh, I don't want them dead. Just want them knocked out. So if that's sort of if there's like the option when you know if not because I know there's lethal damage and I know there's other damage, but it just there's just... there, there's bashing lethal and aggravated for yeah. you guys to take aggravated you have to use aggravated weapons aggravated yeah. weapons for you is either cold iron claws teeth or other magical powers or weapons that is infused with glamour powers so my sword is aggravated okay good for fit good yes good. but if you beat someone you you can beat them down but uh, and you you can they will lose dices and they will be like like fucked up uh, and they might lose health levels. But aggravated is, is like what is gonna severely take away your health levels. Yeah, I am. Like, as I said, if they die, they die. But I'm like trying. I'm not actively trying to kill. All right. Uh... I am actively trying to get them knocked out and sit the fuck down and listen up. But, you know, what cool. happens, happens. As you see on the I little battle map, uh, you see there is like a, like a foy, foy, it's, it's like a small Foyer, yeah. Fo yeah, room. Again, it has the fey aesthetic. So it's a little bit like wood carvings, like stone slabbed floors. It is... Very, as I said, very Guillermo del Toro, Hellboy-esque. You feel like it's it's an entry point to a fun place if you're a fae. Or maybe you're not yeah. a fun place. It depends. <laughs> but yeah. it's someone's domain. So expect it to be lively. Oh yeah, but there. I, I hope there are like loose, somewhat heavy objects around. <laughs> Might not be in the first room. But there are stone slabs on the floor. Okay. Yeah, good to know. Cause I, I I have some plants, but... Yeah, because I intend to pick shit up and throw it at people. <laughs> I love picking up, and then uh, de de declare what you're going to do, uh, and roll your dices, and say if you're going to use the power or not. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna start off by using a power. Gosh, gosh, <laughs> of course I am. Uh, I'm gonna use TK or telekinetic manipulation. Oh, I uh, love TK. Which... TK is fun. Yep. Yes. Oh. I'm going to pick something up and start slash slapping people with it. Now I'm just going to roll to see how how well it does and how how heavy it can go. Ooh, oh, not too bad. Yeah. Uh, you spend a level point and you roll your will. Yeah, I can spend. I think it was two. No, ah, only, only one. Only one. Only one. It's a, it's ah, a it's a it's a common one, so it's not ah, too yeah. expensive. Uh, but it is five successes, so. Oh I, yeah, mama. I can lift up to two hundred and fifty pounds, whatever that is in kilos. What is that in kilos? Uh, hundred and thirteen point four. Oh, that's amazing! So, um, I, I I I literally downloaded an app because I'm just like, what what? How long is a yard? So, are you lifting up stone slabs? Are you lifting up a, a fay? Uh, what are no, we doing? Yeah, if I can lift off a stone slab, I want to lift off a stone slab because I mm -hmm. get then to slap people with that uh, yep. for five rounds. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also gonna take this off because it's really fucking warm. Uh, yeah, uh, I just need I need something to do a note with because then you have five rounds of that, right? Five from now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have five, so one now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also keep uh, uh, a die that will tell me how long things go on for. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, that's... And who are you targeting? Uh, well, the one who just slapped me. Nobody can... Sure. No, or I say slapped. He hit me with a fucking club. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna hurl that at him. Yeah. And these trolls, as I said, they have horns. They have some of your same features. They're just more bulky. Yeah. And more bluish, not so green. They're more blue in color. They are tanks. Mm -hmm. As yeah. a um, keeper of the hidden path, he's a troll, but he's a small one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a big one. By the way, I just as you know, I am also going to burn quite a few glamour to get extra turns. So I'm gonna just take off in in the beginning. So I'm gonna keep slapping. Okay. So you then they get to do their. Th whatever they want to do in their first round. If you then anybody else chooses to do more in their rounds, then there will be more rounds in yeah. the round. Yeah. Right. So you are slapping who? Because I want I want some damage done on someone. Uh the the first the first one. Uh the first troll the, the, the one first one, yeah. Hit me. Um so he gets to do a dodge roll. That he does if he cares. He does not. Okay, well then he's going to take a twelve uh He does. 12 damage and um he does yeah but he but then again it's bashing so he can soak it. so he's gonna try to soak that which is an automatic uh you don't have to spend a round to do that he can soak bash it uh. and he soaks oh oh okay yeah you 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 messed them up a bit uh if we're away you to 12 then he's down to eight bashing yeah uh, uh yep then we have to do another one trolls have higher health level i'm just saying yeah i assumed yeah. but uh, i don't know it's, uh I, I he is a lot of dice, uh so. yeah he is stunned so you you throw him like this massive fucking slab and it's almost like because he, he was like so laser focused in on you like you little shit how dare you like attack our domain and you're fucking like and you told me uh, the, the uh, tweety birth yeah. after you go uh, yeah bitch i would like it to come from like right underneath him and yeah, just go <laughs> up yeah well, it's very cinematic because then he's yeah. like he actually goes on his tippy toes and you see he's like he's like like tweety birds <laughs> it was a very powerful and no. just like with one finger and just keep this thing hovering because I'm about to keep slapping, but uh, I guess other people's gonna do shit as well. They do indeed, they do indeed. Uh, you see uh, both uh, a shadow uh, and hidden, that's called that, keep up the hidden path. Yeah. They move They move out. You, you, you get the sensation they're kind of like bulking up. Yeah. Um, so they're spending because you know what they're doing. They're spending glamour and power to actually, like, get souped up, ready to go. Yeah. Uh, Dexter, on the other hand, disappears. 
course it does. You, you see, you do this. <laughs> he blinks. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, like, you're not the only one who can do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, the troll is stunned. Because he's stunned. Good. There's another troll coming. Yeah. And you see she snarls. And you see he also picks up, like, with the same power you have. And he's like, fuck you. Two stuff. <laughs> I'm like, hey, that's shitting. Ah, <laughs> he rolled well. Ouch. Ah, oh, he only he only got four rounds now. And he is uh roll a die. I'm gonna see who he hits. You want uh, high. You want high on your die. One die. Hmm? You want high on your die. You roll up one die. I roll one. One die. It's just to okay. see who he was gonna get hit. You, I wanna has... roll high. Uh is nine high enough? Uh, then you do not get hit. Good. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I mean, this constant shift between being a little cocky and also terrified at the same time. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you see, like, the shadow's, like, powered up, ready to go, but she is not troll. She goblin. Uh, yeah. And you see the, the slab, it comes so quickly and so hard. You see she's about to, like, move because she sh she's shifty. But it, it gets her, and she's staggered back, but she's not stunned. Uh, the other one hits uh, Hidden, and he's like... Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that all you got? He's like, okay, yeah. that's all you fucking got? Um, then you see, oh, across the shoulder, you see you see one of the goblins, the female one. She does weird hand gestures. And out of her clothing and around her, you see vines, silk ribbons, ropes out of her garments coming in rapid speed towards you. This is not the time for this. <laughs> so now, the ones that have more rounds, uh, two of mine have more rounds. Yep. Uh... Your uh, your hidden your buddy has and yep. Dex Dexter has yep. uh, one more round each and you can do as many as you please. <laughs> That's yeah. what I got. Yeah, I'm gonna do because you have a lot of glamour. <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of glamour. I'm going to I'm going to have three more rounds because why not? Because I want more rounds because I, I want I want to do cool shit without other mm. people doing shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the way of just Blitzkrieg. <laughs> now let's do it, because I have yeah, I have two more and you have two more on your team. Yeah, that can do shit. Yeah. So uh declare again. You also have your slabs swishing around. Yeah, because I have that... my slab for uh that's why I went for a few more rounds, because I have my slab for another mm -hmm. four rounds. Yep. Uh, okay. So I'm the the male goblin. What did he do? Did he? You're not sure what he did because he didn't do anything. Okay. Well, I saw see someone using vines, and I can probably tell that mm, that's gonna be you know not optimal to be stuck in. So I'm sending a slab her way. Uh -oh. <laughs> And I also would like to draw my sword. Ooh. <laughs> Alright. So we get to do a dodge roll. Yep. 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 Dodge roll. Yep. Okay. Cool. You you still it's a static roll on the slab, isn't it? Yeah, it's it, static. It's, so it's that's a static bashing. Yeah. Uh, but this a little lady moves and she moves like a silk ribbon, like it's nothing. Bitch. I know. But then again, that was your role for, you can still do another action within that, because that was like, you had that for four rounds, so that, okay. that, that goes beside whatever you thing you're doing. Oh, it does! Amazing, yeah, I love I, that. Yeah, because you have it for four rounds, that just goes. That is ah. like a little missile that just swirls once and does shit. Sweet. 
Yeah, but you also have one coming. So just... You, yeah. Just, what the, what the, just say what you're doing. <laughs> um, well, if someone's coming for me, I'm gonna meet them, but with my sword. Well, yeah, you have a slab. Massive slab coming at you. Because his, even though he's stunned, his one is swishing oh. around like crazy. So oh, you yeah. can dodge it. <laughs> yeah, I would like to dodge it. I'm not gonna take a beating of that yet. I'm not ready for that. What role is the dodge? Is the that dodge is... dexterity athletics? Or... That... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey. uh, two successes. <laughs> and oh. a lot of twos. Oh, <laughs> so well... Many twos. Uh, oh, 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 that's fun. That's fun. Is it, though? You that's... say that, but... Oh, well, then you get... Uh, you get seven bashing. <laughs> You can also soak. You can roll on your stamina to soak. I can roll on my stamina to yeah. soak? Yeah, you can. Um, I will roll on my stamina to soak. Three successes. Then you, then you soak uh, three of them. God, yeah, that's good, because if not, I would be out. <laughs> well, no, it's bashing. Bashing is just beating, but bashing can knock you out, but bashing won't kill you. It yeah, goes in yeah, laser but I would three. be knocked out. Oh, that would be shit. That would be very shit. Don't get knocked yeah. out. Cause now no, the... I don't want to get knocked out. Because yeah. I stepped out on my Jonathan, and I regret that very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, now fun's shit. Oh, I just said that. Uh, yeah. Oh, fun. Yep, 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 yep. 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 Uh, so mine has a little bit less more to do because you decided to dodge on that action, right? Then that's your action. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, now you see actually the the silk vines. Uh, Listen. go for a uh, hidden. And he's been moving. He's like fighting against it, and then you see the other. Uh, goblin clearly has been spending some time doing something, and then you see he does it, and you see a hole in the wall. Yeah. And you see what she's about to do. Okay, who's about to pop out? No, you. But you. No, no, no. You see that hidden is about with the tangly of the because he's now he's like fighting the silk ribbons. He's about to be moved towards the hole in the wall. Oh no! Oh no! And we also have another twelve. Yeah. But he, he's, he's on standby. Because everything's happening in consecutively very fast. Yep. I have to say this is happening like if you see a movie that's sped up. Because yep. all this is one round. This yep. is three seconds of action. Yeah. Three seconds of action. Everything that's happening right now. So everything's going. Come like on, Dragon that. Ball C here, motherfucker. Yeah, it, yeah, it's like someone's moving, someone's moving, like slabs, crash. Like it, for human eye to see this, it would be just like moving, like ribbons, crash, like noise. But you see it, you see fucking hell. You see, you see the intent. If yeah. he goes through the hole, and he doesn't know where he's going, where the fuck is he going? Mm. Yeah. It's smart though. That's not good. But the one with the ribbons have to put him through there. Mm -hmm. So if the one with the ribbons don't stand at the end, it'll be fine. <clears throat> you have still now one more round. Yeah. Uh, two more, no, one more. Two more. Two more. Go. Yeah. You still have your slab. Yeah. I still have two rounds with slab as well. Yeah. Uh, can I sort of close the distance uh, to the one who the ribbon ribbon roots fuckery yeah the thing what yeah. you can do if you're going to move a great length and do an action because you now have two actions you can spend one action to move to 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 close the distance and also act if not it would only be one action would be to move okay it's the it's it's the rules of, of the game it's like you yeah. either move or you act but yeah. you have two so you can move yeah. An act. 
uh, I'm gonna move and act and hope that I can take this one out with uh, my sword. Because I'm... No, you don't fuck with my people. <laughs> Are you going for lethal attack? I, I'm not even... Just do, do yeah, the thing. Yeah, this is aggravated. This is... Now it's just... Because in the beginning, like, the intent was... Okay, we're I'm gonna put these people in order, but now one of mine is in yeah. real danger. Real, so... Yeah, real danger. Yeah, it's, yeah, fuck that. No, it's going down. Uh, yeah. So with my sword, is that brawl dexterity? And uh, that's melee. Melee, uh... which you should have quite a bit in. Yeah, oh, that's actually better. So, yeah. yeah, I'll take that. Uh, You get two bonus for the sword regardless on damage. Ooh. And I can also spend... <laughs> no, no, never mind. I was looking at something else. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. These dice want to kill. <laughs> Does tens matter at all, or...? We will. Hmm? If you don't have any ones, re-roll ten. Re-roll a ten? Mm -hmm. Just as in a... Just get, ooh, go, gods. Just tens. once. Just Yeah, but I have three tens. <laughs> <laughs> I have three tens and then... Yeah, because I know you're a melee specialized, so you can re-roll tens. Is six or seven success? Six. six. Ooh. <laughs> oh, god. I am so sorry to this thing. Oh, god. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's a total of 10 successes. If I then add my... So that'll be 12 with the sword. Yeah, I, you don't have to roll damage, obviously. Uh, oh, yeah. The cod is very cinematic. I'm thinking you move swiftly, almost like your feet not touching the slabs, almost like you're dancing on the slabs that are constantly moving because there's so much glamour and magic in the air. Almost like you're dodging and weaving, almost like like dancing between them and then picking up your father's sword. Mm. And it's like almost like a samurai, a clean cut. Yeah, can I and, just a little cinematic? Yeah. Don't of having the slab that I'm controlling sort of come down and sort of use that and jump off it and then suddenly just standing on the other side. <laughs> clean through. But you know you did a kill. Yeah. And I would like to say... Stand down or the rest will fall as well. There's a weird silence behind you as you hear beep. And you hear Dexter say, Not not now, big one. I have a pointy in your ear. Do you turn around? Yeah. As you turn around, you see the female fae divided into glides into two pieces, and it turns into purple glamour and glitter. Her soul is not destroyed. She will go back to, to the dream. But her form here, no more. It's a death. It's so, somehow a death. Yeah, I know it's a death, but not a destruction. Yeah. You see the goblin beside, he shrieks and turns back. And the hole in the wall, he shuts it. You see a Dexter sitting on the second troll. He's sitting around his neck and he's poking a dagger in his ear. Like he folds his legs around his neck. He's like, come on now. You see uh, Shadow and, and Hidden, like she trails off the fucking silk ribbons and mines uh, and they like push aside and point their swords at the other troll that's still like you see slabs around and they shiver and crack and like almost go to dust because he's like fucking little shits the two animal looking thing you see they run and whimper deeper in down like slabs and you see all leaf and moss and you, you smell the fey world you murdered her who are you to come in attack us we are peaceful kind 
This is the, the goblin beside the... you. Uh, he yeah. looks like you, but he, he's different. He's a little bit yeah. shorter, a little bit more gnarly. You see his colors are different. Hmm. The one who resides here captured one of mine and is going to sell them off. You don't belong here. We don't Please. even know you. I just point over to the uh, troll the first attack. <sighs> I'm not the first one who attacked the person. But trust me, I will put down anyone in the way. Because we should not be fighting each other. We should not be capturing and selling each other like fucking objects. You see, he takes a step close to you, and you like two goblins, like long nosed, snarling, mm. like almost like fucking spitting in aggravation. And then you hear <laughs> from further down. Please, our guest has shown his hand and fault. I smell an old house. Step aside. I think we are in the company of royalty, if my nose is not mistaken me. You see, they almost like get a little bit confused. You feel the two trolls are like, they're like biting at the bit, ready to fuck shit up. You feel his nose like, come on, fucking, mm. I'm not done with you shithead. And, and Dexter's like, am I getting off him? Are we friendly now? I, I could put up his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I just swing the blade once, just to make sure there's no blood on it, and then I sheathe it. Uh, no piercings today. <laughs> so uh, it looks at Dex. He's like, how boring. <laughs> he glides down, mm. and he's like, maybe next time, big fellow. You almost see like the big hand of the troll, almost like I could just crush your skull mm. like a like a cantaloupe, <laughs> yeah. little fucker. <laughs> just looking over my shoulder, and like mm, if you try that, I know he didn't say it, but just I I can see the intent. Like that hand would me not be attached to your oh. form anymore if you tried. He's the slippery one. You see, out of the shadow, uh like steps down you see creatures like almost hitting and like scourging around like terrified of this attack because it this was attack yeah. and out of the darkness this very white looking grayish looking goblin fae this can also remind you more of the phase of lord of the rings the the the, the shitty guy from hobbit <laughs> what's his name <laughs> yeah the one, the the dickhead. Wait, oh yeah, I yeah. I I know, but I don't remember the name. Yeah, yeah, I don't I remember the name. Yeah, he looks like a but more goblin-esque, like longer yeah. nose, bigger bigger grin, like but he has the white long hair and he's he's mm. quite dandy. He's very dandy. You see, he has uh like the, the hidden like silks that are woven with the hairs of virgins and the lost children, uh, of Adam. He's wearing things that are meant for kings and queens. And he's like, come, come now. Let's parlay. I'm sure we can come to a court. No? His eyes also glitter and shine in the darkness. You're scaring the little ones. We shall talk like equals. One king to another. Oh, there's not gonna be diplomatic for now. <laughs> Walk down. Excellent. On that note, we're gonna have a break. Just a quick one. Just a quick break. Just a quick break. Yeah, he so got for... sweaty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I yeet the slab out the door. <laughs> <laughs> so all the magic in here go. <laughs> And he was like, yeah, okay, you did some yep. murdering. Yeah. But if it went full on, you're not really sure if that's it's two trolls. Two fucking trolls. 
I, that's why I had to, you know, show extreme power. See, that, yeah, that was like, ah, murder. Yeah, yeah. I was in the beginning, was like, okay, I'll knock him out and I'll go in, we'll drag him in, we'll be like, we want to talk. And then more people showed up. I'm like, somebody needs to die. And somebody did. But and that's it okay. Wasn't my friend. No, it does. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna have a quick break, uh, and then uh, we're gonna be back, and hopefully, uh, yeah, someone might die, or maybe not die now. Maybe it's Pauline. I don't know. <laughs> There's like from one king to an angry prince to a pissed off Firmigen. I'm sure something more mm-hmm. might break a neck or nose or finger or two. But we'll have a quick break. We'll be back in just a few. Hi, and welcome back from the break. Uh, we had a little bit of a combat action, just a slight little taste of what these uh, deadly creatures can do. Um, but we're gonna leave him uh, waiting as his blade dries, and we are gonna pick back into our their primary prince of Boston. Mm. He summons. I don't really need to talk to her in, yeah, probably in person's best. I summon, I ask for, for the pleasure of the company of Mr. Vinters at the glass, at the glass tower. And while waiting for her to arrive, he needs to talk a little bit with JJ. Again, as he promised. Yes. Uh, you know, J- you know, the winter is on her way and, and, and JJ stands there. Malish. Well, Mr. Man had some interesting information. It appears that perhaps... The Queen of Bones might have one of her bony fingers into this little mess with Bella. That so, surprises me. It doesn't smell of... Queen. No, may, maybe not. Someone might be framing her. On the hand, she might be readying to spring her little trap that she <laughs> arranged for those years back. Destabilised and thrown wait and hmm. push me out but we will investigate further before we take any actions there i will get mr winter to use her powers to try to track down bala now it's no it being up out in the open meanwhile there's another problem i want to see the malka premier this evening to inform them about the la sombra presence in the city and my plans but there was only one of them she looks startled they are joined at the hip. I've never seen them apart. Me neither, but only Amber was there. Anton was not. And she seemed distressed, worried. More out of it than usual. Not in sync. Perhaps we should have Harold try to see what has happened around the Malcolm Premier's place lately as well. And try to snatch up what we can of information there. I dread if anything happened to him. Not only would it upset the... Other half, but the Malkavs are our staunchest supporters of the Kremlin in this city, except for our clan. We and also supporters of their you, support. My liege. Exactly. And the this little timing issue, Miss Bella's little drip, drip, drip over some time, as I understand it, of uh, this sort of thing culminating in her latest ploy. Hints that perhaps the queen is involved, whether she's not, uh, or she is. La Zombra showing up again with Miss Fairchild. 
I don't. I do believe in coincidences. I just don't trust them. I I think there is more hidden things here than at first glance, but I would recommend not to act too rashly. No, we're gonna let things progress. If it is the queen that's involved, it worries me less because we have we marriage have. in that particular camp. It's more that if it's an outside force that has found ways to turn people in the city against us, that is more worrying. Are you fearful of another Anak revolt or attack? Perhaps. We did give them cause to do it, us. After all, one of their leaders or uh, primary spirits, conspirators, closest vampire was died. Can't take that easy. I'm sure someone is dying of vengeance. Also, there are other forces in our line that might be interested in Boston, but we need intelligence. Very much Let's so. Try to compile as much of this infamous metadata that Harold keeps talking about everything. Who's been talking to who and what we have been able to get? Phone records, cell phone records, increases in uh, communication as well as how many people have been traveling in and each other's area. Let's try to map this out for the last week. Um, a lot of more research just did it. Um, if we need more help, we could always hire some grad students who need to print money and tell them it's some sort of marketing scheme. Let's see if we can narrow it down so it's not so many manual hours. Exactly. Let the computers do their work first. Otherwise, keep your eyes and ears open. Always. I am concerned she's back. We cannot rule out, uh, what shall we say, axe to grind with me personally might make her do rash things. But if not, I hope she might have found a more calming influence among the Lasamba. See, JJ has a weird expression for a minute. Maybe she's huh. grown up a little bit. Learn that personal is not the same as important. On that note, uh, Jay's JJ notes because she's get, she gets just a buzz. Uh, the winter's here, I believe. Excellent. Show her in. She glides in and she bows uh, beautifully. My liege, I have heard you have need of my gifts. Oh, indeed I have. And what's aside for a sore princess eyes is his favourite oh, wizard. Please. House wizard. <laughs> yep. Uh, you see, you've probably heard of the rumours about us even seeing these ridiculous vlog posts by Miss Bella. A little also... tour door and their absolute need for attention. They are like children. Yes, I'm afraid there might be something more to it. You see, it appears that all the posts are pre-recorded and let out at assigned hours, and she herself has, well, made herself scarce. Nowhere to be found, not answering phone calls or anything. Maybe the primogen has been able to reach her, I don't know, but she was supposed to call her in for a meeting and giving a stern talk to, but that was before this latest little video was dropped, which actually uses the V word. Should I reach out to the primogen before I start my yes I would like to you to talk talk with her and also corner up with the sheriff if you need if you need to well enter Miss Bella's domain to find something of her that will allow you to track her down it would but be much by all means. easier if I had something personal hers and she will be found very very swiftly excellent but before anything such is done do talk with her primogen Miss Price has promised to talk to her and deal with it, but if she needs assistance, I know that this newest development has occurred, we are in need of speed resolve. 
Well, I am elevated and ecstatic that I can use my gift to protect you, my liege. Uh, warms my heart. I know a little and bit of this, this Bella Brown, but I found her like a more of a scared mouse than a snake in the grass. I did not see this coming from her, but then again, she might just be an excellent poker player. Or she might be someone's cat's paw. Who knows? More the leather, my liege. If my intuitions are correct, I think this is a scheme of another nature. I have a few suspects for that little... Lunch. Let me call upon the primogen and see what she says, and then I will contact Mr. Nightingale and, and do a quick, 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 quick search of her residence. And uh, I'll get right on the little search for the little mouse. Excellent. Little brown mouse, indeed. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. Of course. Always, I, my liege. I give you joy of your chase. And I am an excited for the hunt. And I bow, and as she exits, he picks up his phone. <sighs> Well, why not? We are, after all, on such good terms lately. And he sends a text to uh, Shiv. Just a little warning, Miss De Vinters will be contacting you, so you're aware. All right, then. Well, the camera's going to pan into Shiv scenes um, a bit before this. Wherever she is at the moment. Is she still in the car or is she at home? I, I hope I'm home. I oh. hope... I, I I probably I don't know how long time it's been, but I think Shiv's goal is to have a bath, <laughs> have a shower, clean these whatever nights away. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Sorry. Yes. And and probably scold Eve for getting back and be on Brennan Swift and Jade's ass. Yeah. Eve is taking a verbal emotional beating. It's Kaya. not my fault, per is se. It mine? <laughs> no. It's Eve's fault. That's why she deserves it. Or not. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Probably. Probably in. Well, if if I'm if I'm finished with the bath or if I'm in the bath I'm well probably... you get you, as you finish you get a message uh, that Eve peeks her very terrified head into your private phone and says Nathaniel is here with a young girl here didn't you request that no it was to meet at her old oh the old okay then they're not there then you old. get a message then you say Nathaniel is at your old apartment Why are you here still here, Eve? Oh, don't you have things to look after? I'm so... She whimpers off. Poor Eve. Poor Eve. Mm. Mm. I need you, love. But not now. I cannot. Uh, get dressed. Get on my bike. Send Alex a text with information of who's in town. That I got from Chris. As and you then, do that, a text clicks yeah. in from Chris. Oh, joy. Thank you. I'll just pocket it and get on my bike and drive. Many moments later, you're at your old apartment. I'll enter. And I guess, I'm guessing Nathaniel has the key and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does. I think I actually... Yeah, I think last... last I think, yeah. 
Eve provided it to him or something. Eve is very efficient, even though I will never admit to. No. Uh, Nathaniel walks towards you as, as you let yourself in. She's calm and inquisitive of this meet with a gallery on. Thank you. I knew I could trust you. Of course. I would love for you. Uh, is she within earshot? You hear soft music playing, and if you speak with whispers, probably not. Yeah. Can you be here? Of course. In case she does something. Of course. See, he he shifts and you see the aunt to the teeth. Do not hurt her unless she hurts me. I don't know. I'm not sure what she is but I might have a hunch does she has, Shiv has a hunch right I mean she she's, she's no I mean from the from the vision you ex, you you talked about the golden and all of that so I'm guessing with the experience that we have do I need to roll on this by the way or no thank you I'll enter um I think I've I've, I've I'm nicely dressed, but I've kind of taken it down a little bit compared to what's I it's it's jeans and then a jacket. It's not like dresses mm-hmm. and all of that. You walk into your to, to your lovely old apartment living room and you see the the girl, she sits with her legs folded on the couch. Dark hair. It's a weird sensation when you look at her. Trish Cassidy, I presume. And for a moment when she turns her head, it is startled to a composure, and then it'll explain. They're they're right here. <laughs> uh, three successes. You see Trixie. For a mere moment, when she turns her head around, she's she's like, hi. Hi. And then it fades into a girl that could be related to Trixie, but isn't. I'm so happy that you had time to meet. Mm, No worries. Uh, You're the patron, after all. You're you're the you're the grand mama, the madame of the gallery. Yes, though you that call, makes me I feel come. old. I don't know if Jade has told you, but I've acquired the collection, your work. Okay, that's cool. He says, that's fucking awesome. Yes. You do have a certain talent that I appreciate. Okay, that's amazing. I didn't think it was to anybody's like real taste. It's like it's not really in the hoity toity fine art scene, but you know, one paints what inspires oneself, I think. Yes, inspired. What does inspire these paintings? She, jump, she jumps up and she's like, the guy said you had wine. I truly fucking love wine. Or champagne. They got bubbles, you know. They got your nose. <laughs> she laughs. Nathaniel? Yes, Miss. Can you bring her a Coke? Coke? Come on now. I'm sure you are fine ass ladies got some Dompeon champagne. Yes. But that's for later. <sighs> right now we're going to have a real conversation. I can have a real don't conversation. Want anything to influence you. Okay. Business then. Business. I can respect yes. that. I can respect that. I can respect that. It's like fun. Okay. Let's see where this goes, and then we can... It's up to you, really. Okay. 
as, as you should. So, so you're talking about inspiration. Where do you draw yours from? My dreams. What are yours? They don't look very happy, your dreams. Are yours happy? Do you dream of rainbows and fairy tales and unicorns and happy shit? She walks around and she touches everything. My proposition to you is... I would like for you to be under my wing. I would like for you to move in here. She looks... What? I, I live in like... a shitty, shitty one-bedroom apartment like 20 minutes from here in a shitty part of town. Why the hell would you move me up here? I see. I see the gift that you have. And I want to looks... nurture it. I want to be part of your journey, of wherever that takes you. Do you want to cage me? No. Is that it? No, Keep I do not me. want to cage you. I want to mentor you. I want to know you. And I want you to know me. Because I'm a free I think thing. there is. Of course, she looks very aren't I'm a free we all? Thing. But you people with all these resources and powers you think you can just give something and we will need and take and accept the whip as it's sugar i'm not really? one of them ones and she walks very like sternly and looks you up and down why do you do people this? like you who why? look no. straight through you are young i remember that fire i did have it once believe me who took it? She actually she Love. snatches. She snatches the chain. She holds it. Who broke your heart? She doesn't know what she's looking at. Who made you a slave to memories? I'll turn around, very gently, like taking it and tucking it into my, my t-shirt probably mm -hmm. and then i'll turn around that is a story for later if you truly want to know it i will give it to you but not now i don't One know of the you. dreams i have that repeats reminds me of you you have a beautiful gift and I don't think you understand it yet. Okay. I don't think necessarily I will be the one to help you find its true purpose. But I, as well, know things, see things. And I think we have that in common. You have a keen eye. Can I show you something now? Yes, of course. I've been sketching lately. I want to do bigger pieces, like almost a mural with these. She opens and she picks up an old, like, like proper school book sketchbook. Mm. And she opens up to two pages. One of them is the glass sarcophagus. Female form again, face, Charlotte. Beside it is a black figure. And they're almost melted into one another. On the other one, you see someone that could be Christopher. So it's clear that it could be Christopher? Because the room... Or is it just like because it... I know it? Yeah, because you know it. Not yeah. for anybody else. No. And you see this weird... Yeah, the faces are very weird, but the it's like white, weird hair. And she holds a massive chain. 
and on the table there is a, a body uh, wrapped in a white sh like a shroud I'm loving these images and they're kind of speaking to me don't you think they have stories don't you want to know who he is why he's haunted by this I'm going to say creature. And why is that one dead? Do you believe and it's this dead? One, this duality. Like it's two of them. Like they have one doesn't know which one is. I'm, I'm obsessed. Maybe you should dive deeper into that. Oh yeah. That. Oh yeah. Like, if you invest in me, I'm going to be straight up. I'm going to be honest. Because I, I'm piss poor. I've got nothing. If you buy my collection, if you invest in me. But I don't want just a collection. I'm going to be honest here. I don't want to cage you. You can't. are free. You can do whatever you like. But I'm if we fine. go into this partnership, because I do believe this to be a partnership. I want them all. Okay. Strange. There's more. I have so many ideas. I keep on seeing this weird man with this fluffy coat. And he's talking to this creature. I think if she pays attention... And they're gonna. I am. Like, I'm kind of uh, like. Yeah. Um, and they're like staring onto the city, and, and the city burns. Ah, fuck it. It's just like it's just, you know, dreams, ideas, inspiration. But I want to know. Do you do this for yourself? Do you do it for the critics? Uh, who am I? I paint what inspires me. But why do you do it? What drives you apart from your inspiration? This is who I am. This is Would you be afraid if no one saw it? I would love to be recognised, but then again a girl needs to eat. Because I think, no, I don't think I know. If you do this for anyone but yourself, you're going to lose. You're going to lose yourself. Bit by bit, the critics, the ones buying your paintings, they will eat you alive. They will take parts of your soul and you will not recognise yourself and then I do not want this to happen to you you have you a sound spark. like she, it's almost like she gets like you get like you sound like a failed painter no offense oh no that not your phone rings oh, uh. mm. you see phone number of two divinta excuse me a second uh, Nathaniel would you take Trish, Trish, Trisha? Trish. Call me Trish. <laughs> Call me Trish. Take her to the upper floor, if she like. There's things she might want to see. Of course, mistress. And one got I've them really well it. trained. She says, "I want me one of them." We can talk about that later, <laughs> and then I'll pick up the phone. <laughs> Yeah, the silky voice of the Vinti saying, Primogen, we need to speak. And oh. on that note, the camera's going to pan out to the last scene of this episode as we walk back in to the keeper of the door. As the Mosque King now stands in front of someone else, claiming also to be a king. Titles all around for everyone. Too many kings around. <laughs>
You see uh, creatures of all mannerisms. Uh, almost like they have like little boots and shanties. It's almost like it's a market. As I said, it reminds very much of the hidden market in, in, in Hellboy. It's a big place. It's a massive, it's like a big, big, big space place with these tunnels that loop around. You, but you're not going into there. He takes you all the way down. They're almost to what you would have in your kingdom. Like a throne at an elevated area. And beside it, in a cage, sits snow. In a very poor state. Release her, please. Out of the question. Why would I? She's not yours to take. And why is she yours? She has given her services to me. She has vowed herself to me. Based on what? Based on honour. Our law? He almost his eyes goes really big. On our law? And what sick law has you made around here? Oh, no, 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 no. I hail to the old ways. And he bows very gracefully. But this thing is not pure. She has vowed herself to me nonetheless. Well, she came here uninvited, insulted my sensibilities, and now I have claimed her as my spoils. You know she kept with the hunters, sons of Adam. You know we're about to enter a war. You know we're hunted, right? Or do you sit down here and dilly-dally and think everything is nice and dandy and shiny? Well, why would you parlay and trust this thing? She was bosom buddies with them for years. She has knowledge. She knows she wasn't with them. She was with the peacekeeper. They killed the peacekeeper. I do not trust her loyalties farther than I can throw her. She smells of the moon. Well, she's loyal to me, not to you. Then what would you give me for her? <sighs> what about... I will... overlook this transgression. If <laughs> he claps his very long fingers and claws. I think you must be mistaken. You hail from the house of four. Don't and do you, you want have... your house to fall? No, and I don't think it will. I have walked this earthly plane a far bit longer than most of the Fae. I know its ins and outs. You do not want to make an enemy of me. It will not benefit you. In any way. No, I am here to wish to make an ally. I understood. She spoke of you. And your wants and your needs. I find them foolish and outdated. And she is much more valuable to me broken down into pieces than whole. Just the colour of her eyes would fetch a pretty penny in the fake kingdom. If you were to do that, then I will first make sure that you and your house burns to the ground before I continue with my war on the hunters. Ah! Uh, you think I am alone? You think this is what I have? No. I think you have empty halls and empty beds and empty plates. I'm not a fool, and I know what you need. He looks and at you very smirky. It, and what is it that you need, then? Since you clearly do not care for your own kind, only yourself. Oh, he laughs. Oh, you think this thing is our kind? 
Oh, dearest, or tonight. No, but it is mine. Oh, oh, so we are bartering property then, as she is. Property. And not our God. She is not pure. Not like us. Yes, there will come a battle with the sons and daughters of Adam. True, but the battle has been for quite some time. I have survived with all my little pretties in hiding. You, not so known to this land, you're going to need my resources and understanding of this land. But I also suspect you do not want to stay here. Fred. I, and he flicks around his beautiful coat, I want your kingdom. Then it's safe, I want your kingdom. You do not have what it takes. And you do. Oh. You see these, and he sort of gestures her snow, but also just sort of behind. As those that are not pure, that are mainly things and properties. No. The queen that bestowed this kingdom upon me made it very clear that they needed to be taken care of. And my word is given that they should be taken care of. And that someone worthy <laughs> were to inherit. As far as I have seen not. now, I need to more know of you to know if you truly are worthy. Hmm. Well, I then... cannot do that unless I know you are, or else I would be breaking my word. And I never break my word. Exactly, exactly. The Ottomanite Moth King. I want your kingdom, but not for myself. You see, I have, I'm sitting very comfortable where I am. You could say I have put down roots, but I have progeny. That needs their own kingdom. You can think of it. And uh, I can start harvesting this halfling. I'm sure she can take a couple of nights before she's broken down into beautiful little white bits. I would need to meet his prodigy and spend some time with them. But should you lay... A finger, should you harm this one at all, there will be severe consequences. Oh, with a, ooh, I shut up a little bit, but also with excitement. We are talking, Moth King, and I do appreciate the dialogue. We are fencing with words. You shall meet my progeny. Shall we give it a mere three days? Nights, hours, minutes. Let me meet them, and I will spend some time with them. In the meanwhile, you will not hurt this one. And it comes uh, to snow. You see, she is very beaten badly. Um, you see, she she struggles to touch something, but every time she touches it, it burns her. Silver. Take it off. Mm, it keeps her from doing that changey, changey thing I do not like. Just a hand on the hilt. I also have metal that can do things that we wouldn't like. 
Yes, and I could do fancy things as well. But let's not pull our dicks out and swing them so hard around. We are royalty after all. Then start acting like it. Malish, would you very much like me to send my progeny to your kingdom? Show sure, good faith. Do that. And before you know what we are allies, and sons and daughters of Adam, this will just be a mere forgotten dream. You underestimate them. No. You've grown docile with the ones who were here before. Perhaps. You've gotten comfortable. Maybe. Time will tell. But war are fought by the young. I shall haunt the old. I want to leave that domain for more fitter progeny. I like your vigour. It's intoxicating. I would not harm the half-breed. You have my word and my bond on that. I will send my progeny for two nights. After two nights, we will reconvene. None will be harmed or other. Agreed? Agreed. Perfect. I should tax you for the loss of one of my nights. But I'll give it as a gift. Well, it was about to cost me one of mine. And as you said, my numbers are fewer, which means I value mine a lot more than I value anything else. Ah, I will not underestimate your intent. Lesson learned. I did you what I had to. You still owe me for a door, though. I'll see if I find one. Ah, <laughs> he claps its long hands. You see almost like a relieved breath from from snow as you again try to move this thing that clearly burns very slowly. Mm. But she's been quiet the entire time. Almost on display, very vulgarly so. Like a, yeah. Like an old world slave scenario, like on mm, display. Yeah. Could you at least let her have some dignity? Though she's not pure, she's still more us than any other thing in this world that isn't pure. I will put her somewhere safe so the kids don't throw rocks at her. Agreed? <sighs> I'll take what I get. Ah, excellent. You are very regal and noble. What okay. Just the tensest jaw whenever he's not speaking. <laughs> Just like the clenching. Every fiber of him wants to cut him down where he stands. But it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. But he really, really, wants, really to. wants to. God, he wants to. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, he's, he's an ass. He's very old. Yeah, my dice want to. Yeah, it's like a murder. But if you're a badass, you gotta I know, gamble. I know. You gotta gamble if it's old Faye. Oh yeah, I know, yeah. I know, and I'm, I'm not, not at the place. I'm not outside. at the place, both health-wise and glamour-wise, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see your your knights of ever and Dexter. Are we taking anyone? Are we bringing anyone? Are we leaving that thing? Mm. That old white bag of turds. <sighs> And he just, as he looks at them, like, he's not hiding for them at all that he just wants. But, like, as soon as he turns from this person, he's just, like, mm, just the, the very clear intent of restraint. <laughs> well, and he sort of, he, he speaks up, you know, more than he has to, just so others can hear, because he assumes that there are people nearby that aren't curious. We will not take anyone today, but, you know, if anybody should want to feel safe on the place where 
that actually is preparing for the war that is to come and don't want to just hide down here. More than welcome to return to the Moth Kingdom. No force will be used. You see the Knights of Elba. And I said, we'll keep an eye. I'm sure some are gonna venture elsewhere. And, uh, and he looks to Dexter because he knows he hasn't been in this world. So, and, well, I'm sure if there's something that interests you here, then you know. You're welcome to have a look in a market like this. Ooh, are we saying? Are we buying? Are we shopping? Are we stealing? He's I'm like, not buying you anything. Like... I'm not giving you anything. And he then walks. <laughs> just saying, as it. It's a... I'm sure it's fine. I'm just gonna have a little peeky woo, a little a tiggly do, a little bit of poke play poke. nice. Remember, we want allies. <clears throat> no, no pokey in the ears on the trolios. Fine, you. He says he's like only, See only you what's necessary. Only what's necessary. From one king to another, he's like la di da di da. And just like as soon as he says that, just like yeah, I've had enough with the kings for today. No, <laughs> 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 squire. And, Millie. And just like last, and just has the mad one sort of gesture so he can jump onto his shoulder. Yeah. Um, make just keep a little eye on this one, and he sort of points to Dexter because you know he knows, like the Moth King knows that he, Dexter can you know get in trouble. And give him. Give him as sound as wise as advice as you can. If he doesn't listen, don't take it personal. Um, and if you don't feel safe or comfortable, you are more than welcome to head home. I am I'm gonna follow. I am a good squire. I have a mission. He squints its very big <laughs> eyes and jumps down. And almost like walks like <laughs> Yeah. Bravado and then all fours and like sc scatters yeah. after. <laughs> Looks to my knights and just give them a nod and then sort of head out with one flanking on each side. And when you get out, it, that's the weird moment. How did we get here? Was it <laughs> one of the things? <laughs> yeah, there was a car. I assume that car is long gone. Yeah. Funny thing. And uh, I think that's the last bit we have time for in this episode. I think that's that's it for now yes yes that's it that's it yep. walking out the time oh my gosh yes uh, you guys are doing all the things um and as i said in season three it will be dramatic but it also will be a bit slower burn maybe it doesn't feel like it is the slow burn of a full-on house fire <laughs> i think actually actually what what, what chris we need is is some very cutting edge cloning technology that can make a couple of duplicates of him so they can get things done that needs to be done. I think I think the picture, the last picture Trish showed Shiv, I think that's pretty much like F. That's that's what we're living. Fire. That's just a David thing in Y. <laughs> yeah, the town is already on fire. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yeah, also, if you get that cloning thing going, please let me know. I need more knights. <laughs> if I could just have a clone army, you know. It would be awesome. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. More of them. All of them. Thank you very much. Full on Star Wars Clone Wars. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Obi-Wan Kenobi is all over the place. Hello there. Uh, all, all over it. Uh, yeah. No, uh, they are now in their different kingdoms doing different things. Um, still, as I love it, as it is, it's so many mysteries and so many threads not yet divulged. It's season three. It's going to be a minute. I'm not going to give it away for free. I'm not. I might give something away next episode. We'll see. Oh, maybe not. The only, we'll way she, the only thing you'll give away. No, I'm not going to say that. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. No. I'm not. <laughs> nope, nope. I take all of that immediately back. Don't jinx it. <laughs> I say nothing. Bye. It's like you were almost out. You were almost in the clear. Almost. <laughs> Don't them. come back, Daniel. It's, come back. it's not it's not safe. It's Just stay run. away. Run, you're free. <laughs> yeah, run, you're free. I mean, she's and... not that far away from him, so 
No, like I can in find the real world. Worry. Yeah, I know exactly. I'll knock them down. Don't worry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. See, there we go. He tries to protect himself, but we all know that's the, that that makes super. Yes, just makes much, fun much sense. Much yeah, sense. Makes much, sense much sense. Much sense. Much sense. Don't say the words. Are you my mummy? <laughs> <laughs> Are you my mummy? Oh god, no! Oh, Ew, no, no! I'm not here for that. I'm not here for that! Uh, but as always... But we are. Thank you. <laughs> as always, thank you so much uh, to my players. You are amazing. It's fun. The stories are moving along. And to you, dear viewers, uh, thank you so much for your comments, likes and follows. You see, we engage. We are here for it. And it's hilarious to see we what love you, you think. Yeah, we love you. Thank you so much for the support. It makes it extra super much more fun. What was that company I don't know, it's a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> <It's wrong. laughs> Yeah, the, the, the sausage. The true shape of love. Yeah. It's, the, it's the it's sausage. it's a character's heart after the storytellers <laughs> jumped on it a couple of times. I don't know. <laughs> it's a sausage. So, oh, on that, on that note. On that note, on that note. On that note, we're going to say goodbye. Bye on the sausage. Bye. <laughs>